Testing promise responses is a bit trickier because when you test a function, you're testing the results that it gives you. So for example, if I drop something in, something comes out. Testing promise results. So we'll create two unit tests to illustrate the concept here. If we create a simple function, one plus one should equal two. This is one of the most basic ways of creating pure functions or somewhat pure. So if we have a function called sum and we pass a and b. So two values, the first is gonna be a, the second is gonna be b. And we add a plus b. Then the result from sum, if we call it immediately with one plus one, the result should equal two. Now notice there's only one result. The only language that I've used that allows multiple results being termed is Lua. On Lua, they have something called tables, which are very similar to objects in JavaScript or Python dictionaries. You can create a table, we'll say Jesse, first name. You can't use the dots, you have to use the string. So we'll say first name is Jesse. Last name is Warden. And then we'll create a function very similar to how we do in JavaScript. You don't have error functions, so we'll just use the old school syntax and we'll return two responses. So not one, but two. Your unique functionality to Lua, returning multiple values. So you notice I can return multiple by using the comma here. JavaScript and others don't do that. That's why Python and JavaScript, you always return an object or some kind of class or structure. So now we have a function here. We can actually capture the return values in name one and comma name two by calling the function. So we'll say get names pass in Jesse here, and then we can print out name one, and print out name two. Print is about the same thing as console in JavaScript. Lua, main Lua, you can see that it gets name one and two Jesse Warden, so it actually returns multiple values. And that won't work in JavaScript, but it would work in Lua, where uno would equal the result, and dos would equal cow. And they use that very often for error handling, very similar to the callback, except it's a more pure function way of doing it where you actually get returned. And if there's an error, it's gonna be at the end for you, unlike node, which is in the front. That's the basics of returning a single value. Promises, one plus one should equal two as a promise, are the same way. The only difference is they take longer. That's really it. I'm gonna do the async way so you get a, an easier way to read it. So we'll say sum equals a plus B, and we'll see promise.resolve A plus B. Very similar to this function, and the result is the same as before, sum one and one, and result should equal two. So we'll do a describe only on these two guys. We run npm test, and you can see that one plus one equals two, fantastic, and one plus one equals two, even as a promise. So we can do it without the await keyword if you're curious. One plus one should equal two as a non-await promise. The only difference is I'm using the old school syntax and that's okay, they both do the exact same thing. So we're gonna copy pasta, but instead of a async await or the chai's promise, we're gonna do the old school way by using a done callback so we know exactly when it's complete. So we'll go sum one plus one, then the result. And we know that the result should equal two. Then we'll call it done. So we'll rerun our tests. And they do the same thing. It's just that this calls when it's done making the assertion. You can only ever get one result. There's nothing ever after this. Yesterday, when I created the startup, we had this list listening server that'll never actually exist. The way you make that work is fix the startup method to, to do two values. So we'll do db and listening server. There you go. <laughs> Problem solved. So now down here, when you actually utilize it, you can get the connected DB. So we'll say results here. And we'll just simply go a simple low dash get of results, connected DB, and there you go. And if you want to get the listening server, great, but it's there as well. And we can also fix the unit tests. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. And hopefully we should have broken things. We run our test, make sure it broke. No, it did not. That's not good. We need better tests for the return value should return an object. So let's verify it's an object. And then we'll snag off the DB here. This async result is the startup. And we'll copy pasta this whole thing right here. We already got the mocks to find way up top. And now let's log this guy out so you can actually see it. We'll for now, only do this unit test, do some exploratory testing. And you can see that we've got the result is a promise and we'll add an await there. So we actually get the real result of the function. Okay, now we got an object here with the result of DB. 
is object result should be true. Now you'll notice we didn't have a broken unit test when we changed the signature. Now we're going to make sure that never happens again by verifying it actually returns the things we were looking for. So we don't have to worry about that return value that Marson brought up. Should return a DB. Async. Again. Const result. Copy pasta. This whole thing. Sing it with me, kids. Copy pasta coding for the win. Now we're going to get the DB. Get the result. It has a DB. The DB should, what? It is object. DB should be true. Let's rerun just these unit tests to verify that they are good. And they are fantastic. That is how you test promise results. Just testing if it's fulfilled is not good enough. You want to test the results just as you would test the results of a pure function. You also want to test the results of a promise, whether you're doing it the async way or the done callback way, or if you're doing it the as promised way. Either way, it's very important to prevent problems like this arising where you passed in two results to your then. You only ever get one. So if you need more, just add an object. You can put as many as you want. Props to Marson Z in my last video for doing a code review. Appreciate it, buddy. Later.